10 animals that are the greatest nightmares to predators. The pronghorn antelope. This animal is a cutting edge, funnest piece of technological advancement when it comes to running away from people as fast as possible. You'll think that it is so shy. It will never stop running from you even if you beg it not to. The pronghorn antelope is the fastest land animal on earth, only surpassed by cheetahs. What we're talking about here is a top speed of 60 miles per hour. This antelope is one paranoid gentleman. It doesn't trust anyone and frankly you wouldn't either if your neighbor wasn't Jack or Alice or Ali but a 400 pounds blood craven, maniacally driven steroid adult feline like the lion. Which is perhaps why the forces of nature pushed its eyes a little bit on the side of its skull, giving it a 360 degrees field of view. It'll see the predator coming from a mile away, both literally and proverbially, and it will leave the premise at the speed of a milk purchasing dad. The moose. Well, let's start with the weight. It is massive, very massive, more massive than your mental sanity is willing to accommodate. 1,500 pounds, it makes the gorilla look like a laundry model. That is a combination of three silverbacks glued together. One of the things that makes this saccadic grass-eating monstrosity so dangerous is its outrageously long legs. One well-placed kick in the ribcage will send your upper body dangling about on a different continent. In fact, one kick is capable of murdering even large predators like bears with extreme disregard for their well-being. The scariest piece of weaponry the moose has is toppled right on top of its head. On our head, we have at best a jumble of protein-based filaments, also called hair. That time will eventually validate through the cruel devastation of receding hairlines. The moose has antlers, a 40-pound piece of deadly armament used as an active accessory of murderous lunacy. One swipe at the predator would relieve it from its physical well-being, dignity, and mental sanity all at once. The giant ant eater. This animal, just like the name suggests, well, it's ants. And on its free time, it utilizes its 4-inch claws to perpetrate every breed of atrocity known to men. Its shoulder and forearms are perfectly adapted to dig holes on the ground and find happy families of ants and termites. At first it will say hi, then it will proceed with a good old mass extinction. It is seriously strong. There are documented cases of anteaters puncturing and slashing through a jaguar. A jaguar, damn it. A beast, mind you, that is so competent at killing that it is registered as a caiman widowmaker. The giant anteater might be nice enough to give you a warning before raining down multiple violations upon your soul. But you have the responsibility to be good at reading its body language in a precise manner. This one, for instance, this rather, is not an invitation to a heartwarming hug. It is a notice that it plans to displace the opponent's internal organs into a more external role. The porcupine, nature's natural medical acupuncture. The only difference it has with an actual human acupuncture is that its needle won't help you relieve yourself from back pain, headaches, migraines, or osteoarthritis. It'll only cause you pain over pain under another layer of pain. This encounter will grant the predator no more than futile mutilation. The porcupine has up to 30,000 quilts, enough of them to serve every single living, breathing customer. If you're a predator and you attack it, it will curve into a ball. If you get closer, it will gently insert a few of its needles through your face and mouth. Rest assured that it won't stop until you scream. And because the quill gets easily detached from the porcupine's body, it will leave it with you as a uh, demonstration of generosity, like uh, you can keep it and enjoy your pain until the end of your days or the end of times, whichever comes first. The Big Horned Ship this grass-eating racing car is one of the fastest living organisms on the planet. You see, its legs are cobbled up with a special combination of muscle structures if you're a predator and you start chasing. This would only kill your combative spirit and your confidence as a top-tier flesh-eating psychopath. And there you are, self-proclaimed king of whatever environment you're living in, thinking you're hot sh**. And you chant it to yourself, oh wow, I'm hot sh**. Then you start chasing and this four legs using bolt of a specimen takes a 6 meters leap. It'll proceed by running at an outrageous speed of 30 miles per hour. If you end up catching up to it, thinking that you'll have the time of your life, it'll use its horns to massage your ribcage with a 1000 pound pressure force, shattering every bone in it and forcing you into a premature retirement. The Wolverine. My god, isn't that one a frontal assault on everyone's hopes and dreams? The wolverine is from the family of the mustelidae, subset of small mammals with low social intelligence, tiny bodies, tiny ridiculous narrow legs making an escape all the more difficult. 
They make up for it with their borderline, psychotic, unyielding sense of courage that slash their own throats before they stop choosing violence as the solution to all their problems. They kill large predators like it was a Sunday stroll in the park. There are documented cases of wolverines, pummeling caribous, deers, moose calves, stealing food from black bears, wolves and mountain lions. And let's not forget, it is small. 20 pounds is what we're talking about, the size of a very small dog, and yet for 10 times larger predators to target a wolverine, they must at the very least accept to place one of their limbs as a security deposit. The American Bison is it really necessary to explain to everyone why this neurotic 2000 pounds territorially obsessed psychotic homicidal maniac is dangerous to anyone breathing next to it? First of all, it has a thick layer of fur around its vital organs. 9 bites out of 10 on this animal would be a waste of everyone's time. It doesn't eat meat, the predator won't eat meat, a pointless murder. The American bison's love language is aggression. It practices it with ritual discipline. It does so because it can afford it. The combination of its muscle density, deadly horns and thoroughly deranged temperament will ensure that predators go back home with much less vital organs that they woke up with. Please do understand that even when a starving grizzly bear comes across a healthy adult bison it pretends to be on a diet. Because it doesn't want its reputation as the hottest stuff in town to be dragged in the mud in front of the entire forest. The Golden Poison Dart Frog it is a small brightly colored frog found in the rainforests of Colombia. It is not like most animals on this list, not particularly strong, not particularly fast, not particularly aggressive. What it is, is perhaps the most poisonous land animal on this terrifying blue planet. If you're a fast predator, like a jaguar or an ocelot, you might gobble it up pretty easily. You'll be like, oh well, that was good, pretty flavorful, with a distinctive taste in its delicate layer of fat giving it a nice little touch of fondant, like a French made foie gras. About half a second later, you will go. Oh. <laughs> All because you just introduced within your body an obscene amount of parasitic chemical concoction called betracot toxin. A single frog has enough of it to murder 15 adult humans on the spot. The Cape Buffalo well first, it is 1500 pounds, extremely muscular in all the wrong places, with a vengeful, vindictive temperament on par with that of an ex-wife. As if that wasn't enough, the psychotic forces of natural biology placed on top of its head a pair, a sharp pair of widow makers. The horns, oh yes, use them in all the ways except for the right ones. It also happens to be a herd animal. It only hangs around in large groups. If it doesn't kill you, its friends standing two inches next to it will. It'll be flipping your business all up in the air like it doesn't care. Like an amusement park, really. After the ride, you'll be begging for a refund, which you won't get. Its aggression is the reason why in history it's never been domesticated. The Rhino. It is as massive as you can get. 8,000 pounds, the second largest land animal on earth after the elephant. The weight of 8 grizzly bears put together. It takes a quarter of a rhino for an elevator to be at full capacity. 3 rhinos on an average commercial plane to be at full capacity. That's how heavy it is. And look at its nose. Instead of having pimples or other pustulants growing on it like the rest of us, it has a 59 inches keratin structured horn coming up on top of it. The beast has poor vision in an area full of animals who renounced the vow of loving their neighbor, which makes it paranoid and potentially aggressive within reasonable scales. It is strong enough and durable enough to win a conflict with a car. No predator in the world can take down an adult healthy one on their own. It is by all intents and purposes the final boss of mess around and find out.